Hey guys, how's it going? I'm working in the side yard today under the fountain and I'm taking you guys along. We're gonna get this area planted up with all of these. And I am so excited to get some planting happening here. This has been like the slowest project over here in a very long time, <laughs> but that's okay. So we're gonna plant up some hookahs and I think I'm gonna stick to this side right here instead of going all the way around. My initial plan was to like swoop around the fountain, but I feel like that would look very like boxed in and that's not the look that I want to go for over here. I want it to feel more natural. So I've got a whole bunch of hookahs. I have a couple hostas and then I have a gardenia going in on this side over here. <laughs> so let me turn the camera around and show you guys what all I have and where everything's going. Um, and then I want to give you guys an update on a few things around the property because there are some things that are happening. There are a few things on the property right now that are blooming and growing that look really, really good. So I want to give you guys an update on those. So let me turn the camera around and show you what we have for over here. So this is my pile of things that I have for this side yard over here. I got hookahs right here. These are lime marmalade hookara. They were $12.50. They're from Monrovia. Is that not like the most cool color green you've ever seen? I just think they're really pretty. So I'm gonna do, I have seven of them and I think I'm gonna like go right in front and then kind of under and back here like that um, with these guys. So I've got seven of those. I have this random hosta that I've actually had in this container for like three years now. Um, I mean like the soil is basically gone. I have no clue where the soil went, but it's half empty. Um, and this was from from Home Depot. It was like 10 bucks like three years ago. And I just left it in there. And I have another hosta right here. And I don't remember who it is, but she's starting to grow. And so I want to get her planted. And so I think I'm going to put this one in the terracotta pot. I'm going to put it in the ground right there. Because it gets pretty big, so it'll fill that area in. And then in front of that, I'll put that smaller one that I've had for a couple years. And then I have a lamium right here. And I think I'll tuck that right there. And then I'll let this all be like kind of ground cover down here. And then for the other side, which is going to go right here in this like hole that I already have, this gardenia, it's called Pillow Talk. And let me show you this. So it's a Pillow Talk gardenia. Um, it's supposed to be pretty fragrant. It's supposed to be an evergreen. And it only gets about two and a half to three and a half feet tall and wide. So it'll fill that area in really nicely and it does want full sun so this side of the property is full sun i mean you can see i've got like irises and roses and then this side over here is mostly shade so i've got the shade plants and the sun plants and all of these are going to go over on this side first thing is this brunera this brunera is massive um i think brunera is zones like up to seven or eight or something like that i'm in zone nine and this thing is doing so well they're the most beautiful blue color I've ever seen especially like on that green color they just shine so this is one called jack frost and it's so pretty i've got it over here in our side yard next to next to the ewes right here and look at how pretty that is it's just gorgeous here it's really filling out this year um i planted it super late last year and it's just it's really happy and i've got a couple brunners on the property but jack frost so far has been an absolute winner the next thing it's not planted yet it's in a container it's this lilac it's by monrovia it is called little darling lilac and i just want to make sure that you guys get to see it it's about to be in full bloom and the smell it's unreal it smells so good this lilac um it, it stays smaller i think it's like four feet it gets about four feet tall four feet wide growing zones four through eight and it just is like the most perfect lilac. So um, I wanted to make sure I show you guys this because I don't know when I'm gonna get this planted or where I'm planting it, but I think this is like the perfect size for anybody who has a small garden. And the smell, it's just, it, it perfumes the air when we walk by the hose over here. So this lilac is, it needs to be on your list. <laughs> okay, and then two things over here. That brunner back there, I don't remember who it is, but it is looking so good. Isn't that so gorgeous? I mean, those blooms are stunning. The icy foliage is stunning. I have it tucked under a hydrangea. This is the all shade right here. It's so beautiful. What I came over here to show you guys was my columbine. This is called Pink Petticoat. Is that not so pretty? This is all grown from seed. I grew one plant 
right back there. That's the mother plant. And then I've slowly sprinkled her seeds around. She's got one coming up here. There's a whole bunch coming over here. And I want her to take over the garden. She's over there. I mean, the blooms on her, they're exquisite. They're so gorgeous. So I grew her from seed and um, I, I had one plant and I sprinkled every single seed that she had just around. And this is what has come up and I'm just, I love it. It's so pretty. Last thing I swear before we do this project is my snake head fritillaria. They're starting to wind down. You can see they look a little aged. This one looks better. Is that not the coolest thing? They're these checkered blooms. It's snakehead fertilaria. They come in multiple different colors. Um, you can get them in all white or you can get them in this like purple checkered. The all white is kind of a yellow and white. And I just love it. I didn't think that they were gonna come back for me and they did. So I'm really happy to see a few of them. There's only one there, one there, and there's another one coming up there and I think two or three over there. Okay, and I also grabbed a couple of these pansies right here. These are called Black Devil. I grew them from seed and they're really pretty. They're supposed to be really pretty. Um, they're doing really great. I've never grown pansies from seed before. Pansies or violas? I can't remember. I think they're pansies, um, but I've never grown pansies from seed before. And I figure, you know what, let's just, let's throw these down here also. I wanna make sure that I use them. I see an aphid. Ugh, I hate aphids. I'm still planting them. I'm gonna be ordering some predatory insects to take care of the aphid problem. So I'm still gonna plant these guys. I am gonna smush with my fingers, however many I can find though. So let's get planted now, uh, cause I cannot wait to see this all planted up. done both sides done kinda <laughs> let me turn the camera out and show you guys i am so happy with how it turned out turned the fountain on got that going um there's a little bit of debris in the bottom so <laughs> some of it's getting clogged it's fine let me turn the camera around and show you guys how it looks because i'm really really happy so under the fountain it's looking great I got the two hostas, so one is planted right back there, and that one's gonna get huge. Um, it was in that tiny terracotta pot, and it would still get massive, so I expect it to get quite large. And then this one has always stayed pretty small, so I expect it to just kind of start filling out the area, which will be nice. And then these hookras. Oh my gosh. Are they not so stunning? I'm really happy with this drift. I wish I had like one more just to kind of like end it right there, but it's fine. I'm happy with it. I'm very, very happy with it the lamium, and then just kind of drifted in are those black devil pansies. And I'm really excited to see those. Those want a little bit more sun. So this is kind of pushing it. Um, I planted them under this. It's kind of like a lily, I think, or something like that. And so this will get a little bit of shade from the sun. And it's also planted under this tree. So these should be pretty happy here. And then honestly, by like, I mean, this, this area maybe gets like one hour of sun. 
and that's about it. So these should all be happy. Um, I do know like this area right here starts to get full sun. It's kind of like at an angle like this. So like this and over gets full sun. Um, I have that creeping thyme right there. And that creeping thyme is under a magnolia. That's the only way it survives. And then on this side is full sun. So I've got the saguaro cypress right here. Really, really pretty. And then under that is that pillow talk gardenia. And I didn't, I didn't have enough dirt. That hole that was there was pretty big. Um, and so there's kind of like a divot right here. So I've got to go get more soil tomorrow. I have zero soil on the property. And when I get more, I'll fill this little divot in. But the root ball is completely covered. And so I don't have to worry about it drying out. And I didn't water this one in just because the ground here is really wet. Just because we did just have a rainstorm and the downspout is right there. So it'll be fine. And behind that though is a hosta, which I really love. It's kind of like a little hidden plant. You don't ever see it unless you see it right from this angle. And especially as this thing starts to fill out, you're only going to see it just from one spot on the garden. So it's a very special little hosta. It's actually a really big hosta, um, but it makes it a little more special. We'll clearly see it this year and probably next year until this thing really fills out. But when I had plants here, you would only just see it from one little angle and it was really, really pretty. So I'm happy with how this turned out. And I'm extremely happy with how that turned out. Look at those, they're literally glowing. You know what would be really pretty is if I did tuck a coleus in right here. Cause I've got those um, wasabi coleus that are basically the exact same color as that. And that'll fill in up high with that green color. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I think this is a pretty short one. I am gonna show you one more plant really quick because I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it in any garden tour. Look at the dirt on that wall there. We'll go this way. Okay, we'll go. We'll go this way. <laughs> okay, just ignore it back here. My redbud tree right now is in full bloom, and I don't expect it to stay much longer in full bloom. And I had to show you guys. It's so gorgeous right now. I just love redbuds. They're one of my favorite trees because of what they do in the springtime. They're a little late in the spring to bloom, but they, they're gorgeous, and they're so worth it. And then I love their heart-shaped leaf. So let me turn the camera on and show you guys that. Look at, she is in full bloom. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? It's so stunning. I love the way that the blooms come out on this. It's just so pretty. And then up against the black fence, I mean, they glow. If they were on a white fence, they would just totally disappear. I wanna show it to you guys from this angle, but we're gonna ignore, I mean, it just looks so much better this way. We're gonna ignore the AC swamp cooler thing and the trash cans. <laughs> it's just so pretty. And I mean, this is starting to fill out. So it's actually gonna give us some privacy, which is so nice. Isn't that just stunning? It's one of my favorite trees. It's, it's so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go inside now. It's the very end of the day. I'm glad I got that all done. I need to hook up the drip and I need to mulch, but I don't plan to mulch until I get a few more plants in here. I don't know what I'm gonna plant in there, but I need to get a few more in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>